Welcome back. I'm Brooklyn. I'll be your digital host today. In this video, we'll be showing you how you can take an image you've made in any AI software and extend it left, right, up, or down. There are two methods in which you can do this and we'll show you both. Let's get creative. Once you have your image in, click on Edit Photo. Then click on Magic Expand. And now I'm selecting the 916 aspect ratio because I want to add legs to my image. Now I already demonstrated how to upload the image into Canva in my previous video, but I'm sure you already know how to do that. So now we're waiting for the options. It gives you four choices and you can select which one you want. Now I don't like how it gives stuff above and on the sides, but I guess you can also erase that once you pick the one that you like. So I'm gonna sort through all of them and see which one looks best. That's cute, her legs are like crossed. Those pants are kind of cute, but they don't look realistic. I don't know what's happening here. Like there's no separation of her legs. So I'm trying another iteration and you don't have the choice of what you wanted to do in Canva. You just hit magic expand and it just does its own thing. So I'm trying to move the image up so that there's no space above and it'll just give me below. Let's see if that works. I think it still tries to give me something that's above her head. Yeah, it does. So instead of selecting the presets, you can go to freeform and then you can just expand it a little bit the way you two want. And it doesn't go above, it only goes below. I think I demonstrated that in the previous video. These legs look a little wonky and the background is giving me is totally different from the actual image. Hmm, that's interesting. They made it like silk pants though with some heels, but that's still kind of cool. Now what I was going for, she looks like she's about to fall. So now I'm gonna go into Leonardo and do the exact same thing, but the tools and the style is a little bit different and you can customize it a little bit. So we're gonna go over to Google, type in leonardo.ai and you're gonna Click the first one usually, and this is what it looks like. Once you're in here, you're gonna click on Canvas Editor, and then you're gonna go to the little image icon and upload your image from your computer or wherever you have it. If you've made it in Leonardo, you can click from there. And then once you upload your image, this is where you get to play around with the playground. This square determines how much image is created. So you can reduce the size, but you wanna have this square overlaying the image and going past it, the distance that you want to extend, if that makes sense. I'm adjusting the square because I don't want it to be too long. On the right hand side, you can select how many images you wanted to create and the aspect ratios. The bigger you make it, the more it's gonna fill up that shape. So everything that's empty, it would extend. So for my prompt down here, I type African-American woman wearing white sweatsuit, hands in pocket. I'm describing what's already in the scene, so it doesn't change that. I don't know if you have to or not, but then I added in <clears throat> Air Jordan, Nike sneakers on her feet. And I think that's it, because I wanted to give, give her some sneakers to go with her, um, the pants, to make it look like a real sweatsuit. And then I hit generate. And it takes four tokens. And every day with Leonardo, you get a reboot of 150 tokens to start off with a free account. If you want to pay for more, then you have to pick a subscription player. But I don't pay for this. So I just do the 150 until it's done. So you're not confused. What you were seeing on the screen before was my final output. And I just went back and recorded my screen to get the steps that I missed. This is the actual output that came out when I did it live. It gives you four images. So I'm just scrolling through the images to see what I like. And if you don't want them, you hit cancel. And then you go back to the drawing board and edit your prompt somehow. And you can change the size if you want. Leonardo will use your tokens even if you do not like the image. So just be mindful of that. I decided 
to change the size of my square and give me a little bit of room below the image to extend because I didn't want it to be too long and make it look unnatural. So I'm gonna do it little by little. And now I'm scrolling through the images and these pants look a little bit better. And then I will move the square down to get some of her feet. So I'm doing it in pieces to get more of what I want. Now I got the Nike pants that I want that I put in my prompt. So I'm gonna move the square down and try to get the sneakers that I want. I don't think I changed the prompt. I pretty much left the prompt the same and just moved the square down. Now I'm scrolling through to see which sneakers and it definitely did not give me Jordans. I don't know what these sneakers are. These feet look weird and she looks a little too tall. Looks a little weird. But I'm gonna try again and get a different type of sneaker. Now this is the closest to a nice looking sneaker that I have. And I think I took out like Air Nike or Nike Jordan and just left sneakers and gave it something simple. This is the final product. It's not perfect. You could probably edit this in Photoshop or anything like that to get it to be a little better. But in Leonardo, you can see how you can type in what you want to see in your final image. I hope the video was helpful. For those of you that think creating the avatar is a bit too much work, I have some pre-made avatars that I'm giving away for free. 56 of them are full body and Pixar style, and they have green screens behind them, so you can put them on any background you choose. And I included three sets of consistent looking characters that already have a background that you can use right away. The link is in the description and the avatars open inside Canva.